This video is kind of unplanned, but you might notice my desk is pretty filled out with stuff back here. I've been running a bunch of benchmarks and I need to get back to that. But before that, I have a really, really cool new motherboard feature from the new Z690 motherboards that I wanted to share with you. Then I got a special delivery to make as well as a couple other quick things in this video. So I thought I'd take you guys along for the ride. Excellent. Today's video is brought to you by Corsair's IQ software, designed to unify the individual parts of your gaming setup into a fully immersive ecosystem. Customize lighting effects, monitor system performance, control fan speeds, and create personalized profiles for any application with a single intuitive interface. Synchronize your battle station in a brilliant display of color with preset patterns or customize your own. You can always add just a bit more RGB. For more on Corsair's IQ software, click the sponsor link in the video description. So let's get the headline topic for this video out of the way with first because uh, it's, it's just one of those features that has popped up. It's an ASUS feature that reminds me a little bit of stuff they've done in the past like their Q connector, which was supposed to help with uh, front panel connectors. But this one is solving an issue that I'm having right now with this particular build. Why are you afraid of me, Joe? Why are you standing so far away? So this is my new streaming capture system and you might notice that the graphics card and the cooler are very, very close to each other. And that makes it a little bit difficult to use one of the tools I often recommend for PC building, which is a chopstick, which works really well as a release for the PCI Express catches to push on them, especially if you're having a difficult time getting at them because all you gotta do is catch an edge of it and push, push it back like this to release it to remove a graphics card or other adding card. So I'm coming at it from a really, really funky angle right here just because I have no other option. See it? I'm using the natural bow of the chopstick to angle more precisely. Ah, dang it. Oh my gosh. Oh, yeah. seems like it, you're right. Yeah, oh. Ah, okay, I get this. All right, so as you can see, this is this that actually worked too well. That was too good of a demo of how much of a pain in the butt it can be to remove a graphics card from a system sometimes when it's either blocked by a big air cooler or it has a thick back plate on it that's blocking the catch that's holding onto this little latch right here, allowing you to remove the graphics card. Wouldn't it be nice if there was an easier way to do that? Enter the new Asus uh, Z690 series of motherboards with this feature right here. This is the PCI slot Q release. I don't know if it's Q release as in quick release or Q release as in Q connector or quick connector. Asus likes to put Q on a lot of their fancy motherboard features. But this button here connects to what seems to be like a steel cable. It kind of reminds me of like what would be on a bike, like bike gears or something like that. And when you push it, it pulls and releases. Look at that. So satisfying. Let's do it again. Watch. So simple. Moves the release catch up here. An easy to push little push button thingy. And so here in your top slot, which is most likely to be where your graphics card is, which is most likely to be uh, a, an add-in card that might actually be blocking the release for something like that, you can just easily push that and I'm, I'm blown away, I'm amazed. It's such a simple addition, such a, a simple little innovation, but these are the little things that I feel like Asus does a pretty good job with sometimes. They come up with ideas like this, that it, it's just a quick little thing. But as a builder, especially as someone who removes and reinstalls graphics cards very often. And maybe maybe this is more particular to me because I do a lot of testing and removing and reinstalling of graphics cards, whereas a lot of people might just build their system, install a GPU once and never think about the catch. But for me, when I was first doing the unboxing video of these graphics cards, which posted earlier this week, I was like, oh my gosh, I missed that. I didn't include that. So for today's video, I thought I would highlight that feature. Isn't that cool? Look, here's another feature. This is an M.2 heatsink, like a floating one with a heat pipe connected to it, which is why it has a little bit of foam protecting it. This is the ROG Strix Z690-E gaming Wi-Fi, by the way, and I believe that PCI uh, slot quick release is on all the ROG boards, and it might be on some of their other boards as well. I don't have a full list, but all the ROG boards that I have looked at so far do have it. All right, Joe wanted to see a full, a full demo with an actual graphics card, so let's pop the 3090 Founders Edition back in. All right, so there we go, it's slotted in, and now, pop, it's removed. Easy peasy. That was way easier than just the setup I had over there just a few minutes ago. It's okay, don't worry. I needed to pull this graphics card out for testing over here, and this system uh, is due to have a, a bit of an overhaul as well anyway, coming very soon, I'm sure. 
So for the rest of this video, we're gonna be doing a special delivery, which is the giveaway system back behind us, which was recently given away. And the winner happens to be local here within about an hour's drive. So rather than packing it all up and having to remove the graphics card and all that stuff, we're just going to hand deliver it to Juan and we should be there in hopefully an hour, give or take. But since I'm doing a random video and following up on a couple things from earlier this week, I thought I would also show you guys this. You guys might've seen my Asus ROG uh, Z690 Hero unboxing because they had a reviewer's kit and it had the secret compartment inside that said, but wait, there's more, take a look inside. And I opened mine up and it was empty. But I also got two of these and one of them was uh, clearly supposed to go to tech power up and that's the one that I opened that was empty inside. So I went back to the other one that I hadn't opened and I opened it up and guess what? That's what was supposed to be inside. Kingston Fury, not HyperX anymore, it's just Kingston Fury. DDR5 memory, so uh, good to have more DDR5 since it's a little bit hard to come by right now. This is DDR5 5200 megahertz cast latency 40 kit uh, and a nice uh, pretty low profile black straightforward kit, so good to have that. Oh, and I got my card that's actually addressed to me. It says, hi, Paul's hardware. Seems much more appropriate. And then this arrived and I was like, oh my gosh, this arrived like the day after I did that unboxing. And this is clearly something that's meant to be unboxed. It's obviously from Corsair. Inside we have the Dominator Platinum RGB memory kit. So this is the kit that I will be using to do the build uh, with 12, I believe 12900K. We're, we're getting an MSI Z690 motherboard, an MSI uh, RTX 3090, and this is going to be the memory that goes in that build. Check it out. Dominator Platinum, first edition, DDR5, with the light bar across the top. Uh, they're making these in white and black, although the black is all that's available uh, right, right out of the gate, but the white should be coming soon as well. So just wanted to sort of round out, I guess, my little unboxing video that I did and show this off. And this is also a DDR5 5200 speed kit, cast latency 36. Of course, uh, the Corsair Dominator Platinums will be available in a variety of speeds and feeds. But you might have noticed this is a pretty big box for just a single kit of memory, and that is because Corsair included this underneath, which I also just really wanted to show off you guys. Look, it's a cutting board featuring Corsair's Dominator Platinum memory, which has, of course, cutting edge performance. It's a pun. It's a pun that also allowed Corsair to create yet more, like Corsair, has, somebody at Corsair has a thing for like cooking implements because they've been doing a lot of these things Corsair branded. They did like a full kitchen set of, of silverware and, and, and utensils and stuff like that. They did a coffee making set with a grinder and everything. And now uh, we've got this cutting board with Dominator Platinum memory just embedded right there in the middle in what appears to be some semi-transparent epoxy. I am told that the memory sticks that are in there didn't actually use any DDR4, DDR5 uh, like ICs or anything like that. So they're not wasting anything. It's just the uh, outer frame of that. This is a numbered limited edition. I got number 16 out of 50. So uh, thank you Corsair for sending this over. And now the question is, it's a really nice cutting board. Should I use it to cut things on? Probably not. Probably more like a display piece to put up, but I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I slice up some veggies on it? Or should I, should I just put it in the background? We'll decide, we'll figure it out. Let me know in the comments. Where, where I should put this. So we now need to get ready to hit the road, packing up all the boxes. And uh, I, this is another part of the reason I'm really excited to deliver this system today is because these boxes have been taking up room. And if you've watched any of my random vlog or cleanup videos, then you probably know that I constantly fight a battle against my garage getting too cluttered and filled up with stuff. So uh, Juan is going to get all of the retail boxes and he's even gonna get uh, some extras that I might not have sent if I had to ship this system because, you know, they take up space and shipping, like all the original fans uh, that I swapped out for the RGB fans that Fractal sent over. One last look at this gorgeous system. And uh, I do want to point out the RGB software. I, I did a I did a sort of a system restore on this because it had a bunch of my logins and stuff for uh, the game testing I was doing. However, I've activated Windows. 
Note that there's no watermark in the corner because because it's classy. That's the classy thing to do. If you're giving away a PC, you gotta activate Windows. And I did reinstall a bunch of the drivers for the GPU and uh, the chipset and stuff. And uh, if Juan wants to, I did include the so RGB software installers right here. Those got uninstalled when I flipped things over. The motherboard is still sticking with the same color scheme I did before, but uh, for the G-Skill memory to sync up, that RGB software would need to be reinstalled, but one can handle that. Don't even have to tape it up. Oh, it's heavy. It's a heavy build. Okay. All right, system, boxes, returns for ASUS. They sent me some shipping labels. Let's hit the road. We made it to lovely Beaumont. Uh, it's actually a, a nice warm day. Yeah. And we met Juan. Juan is the winner. Oh, and nice. the first thing, one of the first things I asked Juan was, Juan, what's your current system? And you actually don't have a gaming PC I right don't, now. I don't, I currently don't. I usually, like, I play on console. Like, I, uh, I was lucky enough to actually uh, get a PlayStation 5 the first round, and then after that, it was like dead. Um, so uh, I share it with my younger brother. He likes gaming, so that's like our main console. I still have my original PS4, and I do have other consoles that I intend to actually eventually bring out and have like a whole setup with retro gaming. And stuff All right. like that. So console fanatic, and you can also game on the PC now too. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And now you have even more AMD hardware because the PS5, you know, that's, yeah, no, that's it's, got like... AMD, it's got AMD chips in it too. All right, so we're going to give Juan uh, his first like in-person look at the system here, just because just it's here and it's a nice sunny day. By the way, if you guys didn't know, I was sick all last week. That's why I'm protecting Juan. He doesn't want to get that head cold that I had. It was no, no fun at all. All right. But there are a couple things that I wanted to point out to you. Voila, Ooh. there it is. So there's a system. Yeah, those fans look bigger person. <laughs> it's it's got <laughs> huge 200 millimeter fans, actually 180 millimeter fans down at the bottom. These sleeved cables right here are, are they were, they're naturally bent the other way. Yeah. So if you want to go attack that again and try to re-sleeve them or, or move them around, you can. Or you can just leave it as is. It's For it's right not now. it's not too bad right now. No, yeah, it actually like I like the color palette and I like the gray. It actually uh, will match. Like I I made my own tables. Okay. Like uh, uh like I made a table with uh what is it uh, studs uh, like a uh, little bars connected to the actual studs on the wall. Oh nice. Uh, and I was set up up high. Do you, would you want to show that or like bring it in and set it where it's gonna go? Yeah, I can or show whatever. you guys so you can get some footage of you want. All right, let's get closure. Let's let's see Juan's actually actual setup for this build. There it is. Ta-da! Windows activated and everything. All right, Juan, we're gonna head out. All right. Thank you so much for Thank letting you us for come by. Delivering it to me. That was like the quickest. It's a bonus. <laughs> <laughs> it works out really well for both of us, to be to be perfectly honest. So uh, I wish you many many hours of gaming and enjoyment on the system. No, good. Yeah, it's definitely. been very, very good system so far, and uh, I entrust it to your care. Thank you. Thank All you. right. Thank you again for building it, uh, taking your time to build it, and to the sponsors that actually provided. That's right. Technically, the sponsors did not sponsor the giveaway part of this. They only sponsored the build video. But a big thank you to AMD and Fractal for providing the parts for this original build. Thanks to all you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, hit the thumbs up. Again, this was not a planned video, so I have a lot of work to do. I'm gonna get back to that. Stay tuned next week for Alder Lake benchmarks, as many of them as I can possibly manage. Until then, have a good one, guys. We'll see you in the next one.